is National Missing and Murdered Indigenous Peoples Awareness Day. Across the nation, Native groups and organizations came together to bring attention to the hundreds of Indigenous women, girls, and Two-Spirit people who have been killed or have gone missing, including here in Alaska. The Kinnick tribe in Wasilla held a rally earlier today. I've been advocating for my friends for about the last five years, and I've just continued on with families that need help. And a similar event was held in Anchorage. Lauren Maxwell attended the vigil. She tells us that case numbers are high. Rebecca, one study put Alaska fourth in the nation for missing and murdered Indigenous people, mostly women. And that same study said Anchorage has the third highest number of cases of any city in the country. Now, of course, for people who have lost loved ones, this is an emotional day. There was lots of sharing at the remembrance ceremony we attended, and some of it was really tough to hear. Luann Hawkins works with families who've experienced this kind of trauma. Two of her cousins were murdered in South Dakota, including a 14-year-old girl, and no arrests were ever made. She says events like this can help to raise awareness. I think a lot of people don't even know that this is happening. And I know that um, um, there's, there's not the awareness that there should be, not the, the spotlight on this as there should be. But when you talk with someone and you're like, immediately you can feel for someone who's lost a, a, a friend, someone who's lost a mother, a sister, a brother, um, it humanizes the issue. And they're not just data points, these are family members. And advocates say there's still a lot of work that needs to be done. However, one positive step, the Alaska Department of Public Safety now has two investigators that are dedicated to missing and murdered Indigenous people cases.